Hey everybody, it's Chris with Atlantic Pet Sitting. You guys have probably seen the commercials, you've heard the radio ads. Now, it's our turn to get our hands on Arm & Hammer's new cat litter, Arm & Hammer Slide. We're going to tell you what we like, what we don't like, and if you should buy it. Here we go. Helping me with this review will be Zoe, Mally, and Yogi. Why am I qualified for this review? Well, my favorite pair of jeans, they have a hole in the knee because I scoop so much litter. All right, so the first thing we want to do before we add the new litter is of course get rid of the old, dirty cat litter. So let's go ahead and take care of that right now. All right, so the litter box is clean. What we want to go ahead and do next is just go ahead and make sure that it's nice and dry. If we don't make sure it's dry, the litter will start to clump together before we even put it in. Obviously, we don't want that. So what we're going to do next is take our brand new Arm & Hammer slide. We're gonna add it to the litter box. They recommend three to four inches of litter. So we'll go ahead and do that and make sure Yogi, Zoe, and Mally have plenty of litter to use these next couple days so we can get a good idea of how it works. And uh, we're gonna give you guys some feedback. It's day one of the slide litter challenge, so let's go ahead and check it out and see what our initial thoughts are. So, first things first, the clumping in the Arm & Hammer definitely works. Um, you know, that's one of the biggest reasons we actually use Arm & Hammer usually anyway, is because of the clumping. So, definitely clumps the same as uh, the other Arm & Hammer brands, so I love that. As far as smells go, it's, uh, it's definitely a fresh smell. I don't smell any cat pee, uh, anything like that, so check one. All right, so here's something I was really wanting to test. Right here in this corner is, uh, is usually a problem area. That's where the cats usually like to pee. It gets in the corner, it's tough to get out. So um, that was one of the things I was really hoping that uh, Arm & Hammer slide would, would help with was um, was avoiding all that extra just clumping here in the corner. So let's see if uh, let's see if this slide works. That's pretty good. That came uh, that came right out of the corner. Pretty good so far. This is a little little bit of extra digging in this corner. So. Um, not bad. Day one, day one Arm & Hammer slide is doing quite well, so let's see how it keeps up throughout the rest of the week as the litter gets a little bit older. Alrighty, so we are on day seven of using Arm & Hammer slide, so I'm going to go ahead and check the litter for the last time, let you know what I think after a week, and also it'll be about time to put some new litter in there. So I'll answer the question, am I going to keep using Arm & Hammer slide? or go back to the regular Arm & Hammer we have been using. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. The first thing I can say about day seven is there's still really not much smell. And that's after three cats using the Arm & Hammer for a week. Um, the smell is still perfectly fine. Um, if I wanted to, I could probably still go a little bit longer. And yeah, everything is, uh, is still clumping, still working like it did day one. Um, Still not really seeing any sticking to the litter box or any extra scooping. It's doing what it, said it was, says it was supposed to. So, so far after seven days, things are still looking good with the Arm & Hammer slide. It's been pretty consistent throughout the entire time. And uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot so far. So Arm & Hammer slide claims that it won't stick to the litter box, there's not going to be any extra digging, it's going to be a lot easier to get that litter out when especially it's in the corners of the litter box. And what we found is that's absolutely true. There was really a differentiator between the regular Arm & Hammer clump and seal and the Arm & Hammer slide, especially in the corners and the bottom of that litter box. I know that's a problem area for a lot of pet owners and it really didn't take too much extra digging, it really came out uh, quite effectively even after seven days of use. So Arm & Hammer, you got it right with that. That's awesome. Also, it also smelled really, really, really nice actually. Um, there was no foul smells after a week. I was really impressed. 
Um, I was kind of worried that's what they were going to compromise on. I thought maybe this new texture they're using it might not have the same, um, same fresh scent after so many days. But I was really happy about that. So uh, as far as scent goes, that was also great. Let's look at price. As far as the Arm & Hammer slide price, it is about $14 to $15 depending on where you get it for the 28 pound variety. And uh, that's right in line with their other litters. So you're not going to pay more for this slide, uh, but I do think you get a lot of extra value with the way it performs. One other test we did with the Arm & Hammer slide is we use it at a client's house that has an automatic litter box. And we've had problems with that litter box before with the comb sticking to the bottom and getting clogged up with previous litters and uh, it just kind of jams up and stops working after a couple days. With the Arm & Hammer slide we had awesome success. It would go through and it wouldn't get stuck like it typically does. So if you're using an automatic litter box I highly suggest trying the Arm & Hammer slide. I think you're going to be really happy with it. All in all I think it's a great product. It's awesome to see pet manufacturers and pet suppliers doing a little bit more and um, I don't think it's a marketing gimmick. I think it's a really successful uh, litter they've crafted. I'm really happy with it. If given the choice between Arm & Hammer Slide, Clump & Seal or any other litters that I see on the shelf, I'll probably keep grabbing Slide, especially if it's going to stay at the same price point. If you enjoyed this video and you love your pets, be sure to check out the Atlantic Pet Sitting YouTube channel and subscribe below. You'll follow reviews, tips from professionals, and also follow our daily life as a pet sitter. Thanks for checking us out, and we'll see you next time.